Welcome back everybody, today we're diving into a little gem I found on uh, Steam called Mandragora. The game is not out yet, but the demo is. You can only play one class and there's only three bus out, but for the few that is there, it's really fun to play. We're going to check the proposed minimum requirement. It's not uh, final, but let's see what the dev already uh, test with, which is the Intel i5-6500 or the Ryzen 5-1400, 8GB of memory, a GTX 964GB or AMD RX 4 70 or a dx12 gpu and the system requirement for the full project may change because like i said the game is not out and this is only a demo welcome to response pc i'm dunk let's game on so let's start that proposed minimum requirement with the intel i5 6500 the gtx 960 4 gigabyte variant and 8 gigabyte of memory obviously we're playing at 1080p the dev didn't specify the resolution but let me guess and the setting should be at low but the auto detect is set it at i i mean i don't know if there's an auto detect but when you you launch the game all the settings is set at high so we're going to try it as is we're using 6.8 to 7 gigabyte of system memory so we're maxi out, maxing out the 8 gigabyte the cpu is in the mid 80 percentage of its position so we're still okay ish i think depending of how many uh, enemy you're going to encounter but it seems decent so far and the gpu we are pegged at 100 percent that's what we want using 3.8 gigabyte of vram out of 4 for an average fps of 37 so it's highly playable at high settings definitely not the minimum requirements but maybe further in game uh when it's uh, more intense, uh, you will need uh, to drop the settings to medium or even low to be just over 30 FPS. But it's highly playable and it's uh, visually uh, appealing. And now because I had it beside me and not uh, just because it was a uh, recommend for the game, I have the GTX 970, a little boost in the performance. And in this game, actually at 1080p high settings, uh, auto detect or default, we get an average of 50 FPS. But uh, what is interesting is we get uh, sometimes the GPS GPU bottleneck reaching at 100% here and there when you play and the GPU is in the mid 80 to mid 90 percentage of position that is actually not really good I didn't encounter 100% with the GTX 960 but since I am encountering it with the 970 maybe further in game you're going to encounter some CPU bottleneck so the i5-6500 I don't think should be in the minimum requirement I'm not sure if an upgrade to the i5-6600 would be a too small of an upgrade otherwise it should be the i7-6600 Yes, I'm only here to judge and give my opinion on the minimum requirement of a game that dev post on Steam and Epic Game and wherever they post their game. But hey, at least I give a proper image of uh, what you should expect as a gamer. But keep in mind, this is still only the demo, the game is not out, so there's still uh, room for improvement or patch performance or whatever they're still doing on the game right now. Now for aim decide, I don't have the Ryzen 5 1400, so I went for the Ryzen 3 1200. I know this is quite a drop in performance because the Ryzen 5 is a 4-core 8-thread at 3.2 GHz and the Ryzen 3 1200 is a 4-core 4-thread at 3.1 GHz but if the Ryzen 3 can hold itself uh, playing this game I'm pretty sure the Ryzen 5 will also but it will also show that it's not the real minimum requirement still obviously with 8 GB of memory and for the GPU I don't have the RX 470 4GB variant so I went with the RX 560 4GB variant and again the 560 is a drop from the 470 in terms of performance of about 80% on paper but if the 570 can hold itself the 470 can definitely hold itself also so how does it go the 8 gigabyte there is 6.2 gigabyte of system memory use for the cpu we are in the 60 to mid 80 percentage of its position so the cpu is really limited so depending on the game itself if maybe further in game the cpu won't be good but for now it is for the gpu we peg at the 99 percent to 100 percent of uh, its position 3.8 gigabyte of vram acquisition out of four and we having a hard time to stay at 30 fps dropping in the i 20s time to times and in the mid 30s other times so it's kind of okay i guess but definitely the rx 470 will hold itself better now since the rx 560 is uh, having a little bit of struggle and the uh, proposed minimum requirement should be normally at low let's drop those settings from high to at least medium so the rx 560 have a chance to play and will you look at that we pass from 30 fps to 44 fps just from high to medium settings so the rx 560 is uh, doable probably can go even rx 550 if you put the settings at low where it should be to play at the minimum requirement but this is a video 
of a proposed minimum requirement, not the real minimum requirement. And also remember, this is a demo of a game that is not even in early access. So there's plenty of time to patch and uh, boost the performance from the dev side. I mean, I didn't encounter any uh, performance issue, but the game is not finished either. Anyway, thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Subscribe.